12 signs you may need more water. 1. Dark urine. Your urine should be a pale yellow colour like lemonade, but if it's dark like apple juice, it means your body is holding on to waste and toxins due to dehydration. Drinking more water can help to dilute the concentration of your urine. Sign number two is dry mouth. Without enough hydration, your saliva thickens up, leaving your mouth dry, parched and uncomfortable. If your lips are also dry or cracked, this could be a lack of water or it could be a vitamin B2 deficiency. The third sign is having muscle cramps. Have you ever been out on a hot day and then had painful leg cramps during the night? This is because you were sweating too much and you lost your electrolytes and fluids, making your muscles go into spasm. Frequent leg cramps at night means that you need more water and electrolytes, especially magnesium. 4. Bad breath. If you ever wake up in the morning with really bad breath, it's likely that you became dehydrated during the night. Saliva helps to cleanse odour-causing bacteria from your mouth, but when you're dehydrated or you've been sleeping for about 8 hours, less saliva is produced, causing bad breath. Sign 5 is headaches. Your brain is 75% water and even slight dehydration can cause it to shrink, triggering pain. If you often get headaches, try drinking a glass of water with a very small pinch of sea salt before reaching for painkillers, and you can thank me later. 6. Constipation and bloating. Without enough water, your intestines struggle to move waste, leading to constipation and bloating. Your body needs both water and salt to generate stomach acid and enzymes that help to digest your food properly. Sign 7 is very common, having a puffy face. If you wake up with a swollen face or puffiness around your eyes, this means your body is retaining water due to dehydration. To correct this, you simply need to cut back on your carbs, drink more water and raise your potassium levels. This will bring down the fluid retention and fully hydrate your body. Later in the video, I'll share with you the most effective ways to hydrate your body. Sign 8 is phlegm. Thick mucus in your throat is often caused by acid reflux as a result of dehydration. You see, your body produces extra mucus to compensate for the dryness in your airways and to heal areas of damage that are caused by reflux or an infection. Sign 9 is gout. Something called uric acid builds up in your bloodstream when you don't drink enough water. This can cause crystals to form in your joints and you can have painful gout attacks, especially in the big toe, but it can happen to any of your joints. Avoiding purines and meat may not fix your gout, but drinking more water and potassium can work wonders. Number 10 is urinary tract infections. Frequent or burning urination may mean that your urine is too concentrated. Drinking a bit more water can help to flush out the bad bacteria and the toxins out of your bladder and ureters. The eleventh sign of dehydration is heavy cramping during a period. Dehydration worsens menstrual cramps by making the muscles in the uterus contract more forcefully. Staying hydrated, however, can reduce pain and bloating during your cycle because it helps to thin out the blood and improve muscle function. 12. Watery eyes. Dry bloodshot eyes happen when the tear ducts lack moisture so they overcompensate by making more salty tears. This can also be caused by eye strain, allergies or a deficiency in omega-3s as well. And one final symptom is dizziness and lightheadedness. When you're dehydrated, it reduces your total blood volume, making it harder for your heart to pump oxygen up to your brain. This may cause dizziness, especially when you stand up too quickly, indicating that you need more water and salt. How to hydrate yourself If you have one or more of these signs, you may be thinking the solution is to simply drink more water. However, drinking too much plain water can actually flush out your minerals and dehydrate you surprisingly. 
The key to this is to get both water and electrolyte minerals so that fluids can enter your cells properly. Simply take one bottle of water, add an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt and place this bottle on your nightstand. Immediately upon waking up in the morning, shake it up and drink it. The sodium and the trace minerals from sea salt will help the water to hydrate your cells and balance out the fluids in your body. This is a wonderful way to start your day and it will help you to feel awake and refreshed without that desperate need for coffee. Coconut water, bone broth, pickle juice and herbal teas can also provide natural electrolytes, so you may also want to use some of these to stay hydrated throughout the day. How much water do you need daily? The amount of water you need depends on your activity level, weight and climate. A good general guideline is to drink half your body weight in pounds in ounces of water per day. For example, if you weigh 150 pounds, aim for 75 ounces of water daily, which is around the size of one of the large bottles. If you're sweating a lot, exercising or you're drinking a lot of caffeine, you'll need even more water plus more electrolytes like salt and potassium. Personally, I like to take a scoop of high quality electrolyte powder twice per day in a pint of water with a pinch of Celtic sea salt. The brand that I use has 1000 mg of potassium citrate which helps to balance out my fluids and electrolyte levels throughout the day. For more info, you may want to watch the video that's on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.